just stopped for camp uh stop for camp stop for the night um we got out of that hectic track and we've had a few casualties firstly this one busted the top of the latch snapped clean off so we got a bit of rope there to sort that issue second casualty is jen left her thongs there so we're out of a pair of thongs thirdly radiators got some sort of crack or something we lost all of the water out of the radiator so not doing too good from that place the road was pretty hectic but we found this place it's just a overnight stay or well, not really but we're staying here with ocean views so we packed up nice and early because we don't want to get a visit by ranger rick again anyway we had one thing that we just remembered one of the casualties from yesterday that we forgot to talk about so my phone started carking itself like it'll turn itself off as soon as you try and unlock it the issue we found was we need to turn the phone on to use the bluetooth to be able to connect to the battery charger to charge the system and we ran out of power we, like the battery ended up dying because we couldn't get the phone on and then we were able to get it on once so we turned the turned the battery system on it charged the car but then we couldn't turn it off so it drained the main battery so we tried to leave and we couldn't start the car was flat and there was a big shabazzles. But yeah, that was the other thing that other happened than yesterday. That, everything's great. We're going to Shelly Beach or Shell Beach. Shell Beach. We're going there for Bracky now. Um, and then we're going up to Denham and Monkey Maya for the footy tonight. And hopefully get some groceries because yeah. we're out. I've caught mushrooms. two fish and some squid. So we got a we're, we're topped up on meat, but yeah, just no veg in that. But yeah, that's all we've got to say. Sorry for the uh, long yarn, but yeah, let's get the day. Yeah. Ben reckons this fence barks at you. I it might she's, not today, but I reckon Ricky's she's tripping out on something. <laughs> get out of it! <laughs> get out of it! So, what's the story with it, Jen? So, there's this massive fence all along this day, shows you. Oh, yeah, it keeps it's going up that way. For feral animals to keep them out. So, if anything comes across there, it barks and hopefully is meant to scare away the animals. Deter them. I mean,. So then there's, because this is all national park, yeah, right. so you don't have feral animals. Mm. Been out on the water now for a couple hours. Been a very uneventful um, boating trip this time. Um, we had a bit of a fish and there was nothing around. We were told there's nothing around here, but still, still have a crack. Um, maybe see some dolphins as the sun's setting. So as I showed you the other day, we lost one of the latches on them bad Goros. Legends here at the RAC at Monkey Maya. Let me use the workshop. Um, gave me a bit of metal, so it made a little latch. Makeshift one for now. Um, so yeah, big shout out to you lads. Thanks heaps. I'm gonna go chuck it on, see how it goes. That's the latch I did. It's all on there. That's the original. So I'll see how it goes tomorrow when we back down. Looks a bit uh, Frankenstein, but should do the job. We're um, off to the monkey bar again. Um, some of our friends from earlier in the trip are here as well, so we're going to go meet them. Eric and Jen, have a couple beers? Yeah. So we've just left Monkey Maya. We spent three nights there. It's very relaxing, hey? Yeah. Felt like, like a tropical island holiday. Yeah. But pretty touristy, so very touristy. I don't know if we'd go there again. Beautiful place, but yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to lounge on the beach and have some drinks at a bar, then yeah, it's a yeah, place for you. And now we're punching up the Frenchon Mo Chamois Peron National Park. Uh, Drop the name below. Yeah, we're going to try and hide on the western side of the cape to get away from the wind because it's blowing a gale. So 
we've just found a campsite at Bottle Bay, so the furthest um, you can camp in this national park. Um, so we're just making some lunch, some leftover peri peri chicken. Jen's chucking on wraps. We're gonna smash that and we'll show you the beach. Um, then we're gonna go for a drive to the point. So it's the next day, the wind's finally starting to drop off here. Um, just get some sunscreen on, we're gonna go for a dive. Hopefully, see a nice fish. So it's now the Arvo. Um, did not spear anything, saw a few little things, but nothing worth shooting. Realized that the GoPro SD card was actually full, so I didn't actually get to film any of it to show you. But yeah, this is our last night here. So we thought we'd just run through this meal that we're doing because it's a real easy one. It's a Samson fish that I caught off the rocks at sun, sunrise. I had one fillet the other night. Yeah. Fish tacos was really nice. Um, so we're gonna do it in a curry. We don't have much food left at the moment. So running low. So this is a meal that you can do nice and easy um, with not many ingredients. So we've got half a carrot and half an onion in there just frying up. And then over here we have some coconut rice cup of rice and then you rinse it twice so make sure you get all the starch out then we add in half a cup of coconut and then four cups of four two cups of rice uh, two cups of water Whoa. wow <laughs> we got that one. so we've added in some curry powder normally i do way too much so true fashion probably put too much in. <laughs> so you gotta uh, cook that off and allow the aromatics to uh, aromatics. damn it i was trying to talk gaming but I'm not bad. So you just cook that up in, <laughs> for a few minutes until you can really smell it. Now we chuck in the potatoes. A little bit of water if you need to. Now we're gonna add some coconut milk. So any from a can would be fine too. It'd be about one can. So we add a coconut. Add in a yeti's worth of water. <laughs> one yeti's worth. Very technical amount. <laughs> I'm gonna add some together. Not that much. Thanks for Jay's dad. Puts it in everything, the old boy. And now we're gonna put the lid on till it boils and then we'll turn it down to simmer. So now we're gonna chuck in the fish. You still want it on a low heat as well. It's ready. It smells awesome. So it's been in here for a few minutes. You can just test by picking up a piece of fish and seeing if it breaks through. Make sure it's cooked the whole way through. And then as you can see that just fell apart. So. Beauty. Let's go dish up and um, enjoy the rest of this sunset. So we had to retreat inside because of the mozzies, but um, give you a quick taste. Oh! Wow, we are definitely making this again. I reckon. <laughs> it's pretty damn good, isn't it? That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Jen loves cooking and I love eating, so um, it's a match made in heaven. Let us know if you want us to do any more like this, and hopefully next time we'll get the catching in there as well, eh? off our pretty crappy morning we've now found we had a screw in our tire so Jay's trying to repair it and hopefully we can get back on the road soon <laughs> Heading to Warramala. 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 
Wurrimal station for one night. It's got so they've got Artesian um, spa spas bus. and then showers with the and that come out of showers. a bucket. We've driven about two hours today. We're cracking on. So we just set up. You sort of pick any campsite you want along the river here. But we found a nice shady spot, which is um, was good. It means we don't need the awning and stuff like that. So quick setup. We're just going to go for a bit of a walk and suss the place out. So the sun is not even up yet. We got up at 6.45. It's like 33 degrees. It's so nice. It's like 12 degrees outside. Yeah, it's cold outside. Right? <laughs> Fresh made damper, what's yours, Jen? Veggie damper. Veggie damper. And obviously golden syrup. Can't go wrong with that. It's like a little um the, the little cafe at the place here. They're the spas that we went to this morning. The cafe. Just waiting for our coffees. Smash these and we'll get out of here. That's the way it's gonna be, little in you. Come on, race us, mate. We got a turbo on this dog. He doesn't want to bar. He does not want to bar it. We just did our grocery shop at Carnarvon. Full stock up for the next like two or three weeks. Spent this two better last us three weeks. 230 bucks. They're huge. So cool. Get it shot, Jen, get it. So I've just woken up at Cobble Blowholes. Bit gloomy looking today. We're uh, rocking our new flannos from Olas. We just picked them up yesterday. I really like Jen's. The pink colour's sick. Thanks to Olas for them. What's on the uh, menu for brekkie? Yogurt, muesli and strawberries. We're gonna stay here a night anyway, another night, and then um, cruise up towards Red Bluff. bluff this is our little spot just being told that um little there's like a little cafe thing down there just being told that ziggy alberts is playing there tonight so we're gonna go have a look at that it's pretty pretty insane and um yeah have some dinner and we've got some friends oh that side bit of a troopy gang we're gonna go have some drinks with after and we will fight for this country we adore our times it just know how to play for you to be see me this way so it is our third day at red bluff uh, another beautiful day we're up nice and early we've just had brekkie and coffees and we're about to go for a bit of a walk up onto the ridges so we're nearly at the top of our hike Troops is all the way over there. So we went for a dive, didn't see many fish. Saw a little shark. Um, saw the med rays, which was cool. So we're just going to enjoy the sun. Last day here, we're watching the shark like cruise through the um, the shallow waves here. It's pretty cool. We just had a really eventful afternoon, or like evening. We just finished dinner, and then Jen, I was like washing my feet or something, and Jen saw people just running down. So many people just from the camps to the beach. To the beach. Like, oh no, and we were like, oh no, and then the, like so many people were running, we were like, we better run down and have a look. Um, and literally on the way down, I said to Jen, oh, far out, I hope it's not 
the lads with the boat because we saw them just coming in. Um, I met the fella on the first night we got here. Just a couple young lads with the sick um, Quintrex and sure enough it was. So they were trying just to anchor a, it. Yeah, freak wave, got it. And yeah, one of the dumpers has flipped it. Just rolled it. Um, so massive group effort to everyone at the campsite, like ran down yeah. and jumped straight in the water trying to grab all their stuff. And we f managed to flip it back over. Mm. And then, up. yeah, an old fella come down with his car and winched it out of the water. Um, Luckily no one was hurt. But yeah, that was our evening. We're gonna call it a night now. Yeah, um, it's seven o'clock and it's been a big day. Yeah. Spend the night here, pre-camp. Rain's coming in a little bit. Look at this rainbow over this side's gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> Good troops line up. How yeah, good. Hey guys, so we um, didn't really do much recording yesterday, but we had a really nice day. We went to Nalu Station, but it was completely booked out except for one campsite, which was They're too expensive Hilton. for us. But it was really nice there. And we then. And now friends, um, yeah, Adam and Lauren and yeah, Jason, Jason and Sarah, Sarah both in troopies. So then we cruised up to Nalu Bay but really corrugated and rocky track to get there and then we ended up just staying the night there on the yeah, beach. The beach so, is so nice. It was pretty pretty nice yeah, yeah. Um, and then we got up nice and early watched the sunrise and then the rain started coming in so it's now still pissing down and um, so our advice for this section if you were to do it I'd say punch straight up to Nalu. Nalu station and then work your way back so there's like three stations on the way back and then come back and just leave. Yeah. Makes a lot more sense than doing the big drive on the way back like we're doing now. But yeah, we're gonna head back to Carnarvon, top up stocks, because it's the last Woolies in a while. Then we'll keep punching back uh, up towards Coral Bay. So this is how dirty the troops and tin is. Absolutely filthy. Lucky there's a car wash in Carnarvon. We are going straight to it. Eww. <laughs>